Hi, and welcome to the Unilizer Video Vault. The Unilizer was designed to enable everyone the opportunity to watch the growth of their social media accounts and web traffic. In this video, we will be taking a look at the Unilizer's Dashboard Data Widget section. By understanding how the tool is laid out and how different parts of the dashboard relate to each other, you will learn how to read between the lines, or in this case, between the trending arrows. Let's get started. Make sure you are signed into your account and then click the Unilizer tab at the top of your screen. As you can see, the Unilizer dashboard is divided into multiple sections, with each one displaying unique data relating to the accounts you entered on the settings page found here. In this section, 18 data widgets are available to be customized to your liking. This is where you can start defining which tracking elements are the most important to you and organize the data accordingly. If you have not yet defined the ranges for the data widgets, many of them will be empty. Let's start by going over the process of adding a new data range to an empty data widget. Click on the plus sign of an empty data widget to bring up the customizable metric tool. When the customized data widget appears, Click on the drop-down menu labeled Choose to see a list of metrics that can be tracked for any particular data widget. You have a choice to track any of your social media outlets such as Facebook or Twitter, or you can add a social bookmark site like Dig. For this data widget, let's choose Google Twitter. Users sometimes question the difference between Google Twitter and Twitter and why the different metrics are available. Using the Unilizer, Google Twitter will track visits, time on site, etc., whereas Twitter tracks followers, following, tweets, etc. The Unilizer retrieves web traffic data from Google, thus Google Twitter, and we get metrics about each Twitter account, such as the number of tweets, directly from Twitter. Now that we understand this variation, let's get back to adding your account. If you have multiple accounts that you are tracking, you will be asked to define which one this particular data widget will monitor. Once you have chosen the proper account, you will be presented with five different tracking ranges. New visits, stickiness, time on site, visits, and UPV. For this example, let's select new visits by clicking the button located to the left of the text. To finalize your selection, click the Save button. Now your dashboard is starting to come together. All 18 of the data widgets can be customized in the same way and then changed as many times as necessary. Customize all 18 data widgets and arrange them in the way that is most suited for your tracking needs. The data widgets are also interactive and you can see more information by mousing over hotspots. Let's look at the Twitter widget we just created as an example of how this works. Move your mouse over the Twitter icon located in the top left corner of the data widget. A small text box will appear and display the account for which the data widget is tied to. If you are tracking multiple accounts, this can come in handy. The second hotspot is found by moving the mouse over the trending arrow. A text box appears and displays the percentage of change the trending arrow represents compared to the time interval directly to the right of the one you are currently viewing. In this example, we are tracking the current time period. Therefore, this percentage number tells us that we are trending up at 152% compared to our 30-day stats. More information about how to understand the time intervals is available in our tutorial video catalog. Now that you understand how to customize a data widget, try to populate all 18 with the metrics that matter the most to you. We will talk about all the available metrics for your configurable data widgets in another video, and a separate video is available which discusses the meaning of each metric. Thanks for letting the Unilizer assist you in your social media monitoring and tracking efforts.